Today we're in my dedicated theater room. Behind me I've got a 150 inch diagonal screen. It's 12 and a half feet wide. Today we're going to be talking about an awesome feature in the MadVR NV Extreme called Nonlinear Stretch. One of the questions that I get asked often on my channel is, Michael, what do I do when a movie that I'm watching changes aspect ratios? Maybe it goes from 2.35 to 1 to 16 by 9. In this video, I'm going to show you some footage of that physically happening in the movie Interstellar. There's other movies, The Dark Knight, that do it as well. But this is a great demonstration because it switches aspect ratios in this one scene 10 different times. And so I'm going to share with you in this video a really cool feature of the MadVR NV Extreme. It's called Nonlinear Stretch. And what you're going to see is with Nonlinear Stretch enabled, no matter how often or how fast that aspect ratio changes, the NV is going to keep the content completely filled wall to wall in my theater. Now, before we get into the demonstration, I do want to give a huge thank you to MadVR Labs for sponsoring not only this video, but this entire video series that we're going to be doing, featuring and showcasing and demonstrating all the various options and features inside the MadVR Extreme. Now to make things a little easier for you to see when the aspect ratio is changing, once I turn the lights out, you will not be able to see my black velvet border around my frame. So I'm going to go ahead and overlay a rectangle that will kind of signify where that border is. And again, that'll just make it easier during this demonstration. So let's go ahead and turn off the lights. All right, so we have the lights off and you can see the border of the screen. And as you can see here in its native format, the IMAX scene here does not fill the width of my scope screen, my 2.35 to 1 screen. So if we go ahead and hit play, you'll see it goes from IMAX, then it's going to switch to scope. Now it fills my screen. Then we come back to IMAX. And then we go back to scope again. So as you can see, this movie changes quite often throughout the movie. Now, if you look real closely, with nonlinear stretch turned off, I do have slight gray bars at the very top and also at the very bottom. And the reason for this is that my screen is actually not as wide as a 2.40 to 1 aspect ratio screen. And so that's why we get gray bars on the top and the bottom. So if I hit the profile button on the remote, come down to NLS, which is nonlinear stretch, and we're going to come over here and turn NLS on. And as soon as I do that, you see that the top and bottom gray bars are gone. The Envy has filled that content completely so that there's no gray bars. Now disregard that little black bump at the bottom. That is the projector light hitting the front of my camera that I didn't notice until just now. So we'll go ahead and exit out of that screen. So now that nonlinear stretch is turned on, I'll back up. We'll go through that same scene and you can see what the Envy is doing. So remember this scene here was in IMAX, so it did not fill the screen. But as you can see here, nonlinear stretch has allowed that to fill the entire width and height of my screen. So we'll go ahead and hit play. So that scene was IMAX, that was IMAX. This was full screen, but we had gray bars on top and bottom, which are no longer there. This scene was back in IMAX, this was full screen, and this was full screen. So as you can see, Envy is doing this on the fly absolutely immediately, and I don't see anything that looks out of place or wonky or distorted. Now the great thing with the Envy is that you have full customization as the user to set this up and dial it in however you'd like. So let me walk you through on how you can adjust those settings in your own setup. So I'm going to hit the top right button on the remote, which is our configuration. And then we're going to scroll over to the right until we get to custom zoom configuration. Now here you can see all of the different aspect ratios. We've got 1.19 to 1, 1.33 to 1. And these aren't all of them, but these are a bunch of them. 1.66, 1.77, 1.85, 2.0, my resolution or my screen size, which is 2.35 to 1, and even wider formats. And so you can see we've got 166 all the way up to 240 active here on the Envy. But we can always turn those other ones on and configure those as well. So if we come down here to say 166 and I hit Run Assistant, 
Right now, we can see that Envy is filling the entire width of the screen, but I can come down here and turn it off and you can see what that image would look like if nonlinear stretch was not active. So if I come back up here, we'll turn that back on. Same thing here, this is 177. We can turn that off and you can see the gray bars on the left and right. And you can see what Envy is doing with that image to make it fill the screen. So let's go over here to 185 to 1. Now if I were to turn this off, this is what it would typically look like as a 16 by 9 image. You're going to have gray bars on the left and gray bars on the right. Now here's the really cool thing. I can enable this and we have full control on what Envy is doing. Now your dealer is going to set this up for you, but I want to show you how easy it is to go in and tweak for your preference. So the dealer set this up as 13 crop, 13 crop here, but I want to show you down here what it's doing in regards to the stretch. So here you can see the display is broken up into thirds. We've got a third on the left, a third in the middle, and a third on the right. So what the Envy is doing right now is it's only stretching the left third and the right third of the image. Now, if you felt that you needed more of the middle part of the image or the video image to not be affected with nonlinear stretch, you could scale that out to say 25, and then we could do the same thing up here with vertical. Instead of being a third top, middle, and bottom, maybe you want that to be a little bit less. Now, the reality is the further you push this near the edge, the more distortion you're going to see. And so the thought process of putting this at about 33, which is a third, is you're distributing that load. You're distributing the, dis the stretch without distorting a small section, which would be a lot more noticeable. So just with the horizontal, you can adjust the vertical so that the nonlinear stretch is only affecting the top and bottom portion. But when you do that, you're going to exaggerate the actual stretch that's happening near those edges. So the thought process is if you do 33%, it's going to more evenly distribute that stretch and not look wonky or distorted. And so now if we go back up, I'm going to change this back to 33% where we had it. We're going to come all the way up to the top and we'll just cycle through these. So as you can see, no matter what format, it's going to entirely fill my screen. If you remember previously, we had only activated up to 240 to 1 aspect ratio. But if I go to the next ratio, you can see we now have gray bars on top and bottom. If we go to an even wider format, more gray bars, and you can see as we keep going up, it gets bigger and bigger on those gray bars. Well, again, you can come in here and we can activate that. And we can come down here and say, okay, I want that to be, and we always recommend increase this all the way up to 100%. Because as you can see, it's going to stop right there no matter what. And the reason is, is we've told in the Envy what the boundaries of my screen are. And I'll show you where you can do that. So they recommend cranking this all the way up to 100. Again, it's not going to affect it. So watch this. This will actually stretch it up. There we go. And you can notice that it's not changing a bit, but we're going to go all the way up to 100 as well. So we'll just go ahead and skip through that, just like that. So now if I go back up to the top and we switch between 240 and 255 to 1, we now see even that aspect ratio would fill the entire area of my screen. Now I mentioned to you screen boundaries. The reason why when we increase the horizontal nonlinear stretch strength and the vertical nonlinear stretch strength, when we get to a certain point, it stops moving. And that's because in the Envy, we've already told it where the edges of our, our screen is, and it's not going to stretch it beyond that point. So we'll go ahead and go back into the main menu, go all the way back up here to the top, and then we'll hit back twice. And right here on the screen configuration, we can come down to screen boundaries and go to run assistant. So once we get into this screen, you can see it walks you through on what is good and what is bad. Ideally, you want to tell Envy the very edges of your screen. You don't want to go too much further beyond that 
because you're going to lose light output. So we'll go ahead and hit the green button on the remote to go to the next screen. And here you can see up at the top left, that is selected. And so I can hit the left and right arrows to go to each one of these corners. And then to adjust those, you would just hit OK. And then you can adjust that left and right. So let me go all the way over to the top left. I'll hit OK. And I'll just show you. So I can hit to the right. And it's going to start dragging in the border area. So again, you want to get this to the very edge. Ideally, you want to do this with the lights on. So hopefully I don't mess it up too bad. Should be about right there. And once you're ready, you just hit OK. So now we've told Envy the physical borders of the screen. And so it's never going to try to stretch beyond those borders. So once we're done, we'll hit the green circle to apply those changes. So the changes we've made are only temporary changes. So in other words, if I were to switch maybe my input on my AVR and switch it back to say the Zipidi that I'm using now, all of those changes are going to be gone. So we need to save those. So I'm gonna hit the blue button on the remote and you can see here we can either save to base by holding the green button or we can hit the yellow button to save as a profile. Since this is a main change, and you only should have to do this once, we're gonna save this to base, so that's going to be the green button. So now you can see up at the top right, it now says base. So let's go all the way up here to the top. And we'll cycle over, and you can see these here are temp. Now when you're making changes to your custom zoom configuration, you wanna save those as profiles. So we're gonna hit the yellow circle, come down to NLS, and we're gonna save it to the NLS on profile. So now you can see all of these are saved to the profile. So now anytime that we come down to the profile section and we come down to NLS and turn this on, all of those profiles are active at the same time. So here on the top, we can see nonlinear stretch is turned off and on the bottom section of the frame is nonlinear stretch turned on. You can see just how seamless MadVR Envy is handling those transitions between those aspect ratios. As I mentioned, I'll be making a series of videos talking and walking you through the various aspects and features of the MadVR Envy Extreme. Let me know your thoughts about nonlinear stretch, and if you've got any questions, leave those in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe because I've got more videos coming on the MadVR Envy in the weeks to come. And I'll also leave links to MadVR Labs down in the description below. Well, as always, you guys be blessed, and we will catch you in the next video.